Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to 99.1 SPOK Radio. <laughs> Tower of Magic is here. We're going to do some polls. Um, I'm going to explain if I think these heroes are worth pulling for. So you'll get the benefit of that as well. And we'll see what we end up with out of this mess of new heroes. Not really feeling these new costumes. Feels like the art is done by a different person every time, and I think that is dumb. So, um, first let's look at, should you pull for these heroes, and then we'll do our summons. I mean, look at this. This is so ridiculous. Okay, anyways. Uh, we're gonna look at the five stars first. There are five of them, I believe, is their typical event thing. So, looking first at Agrafina. No. Agrafina. More defensively built stats. The way the mono speed works is basically six tiles and twelve tiles um, for the two different speeds. Um, passives on fully charged special skills. So that's the slow speed one. Here has a fifty percent chance to deal one hundred percent damage to all enemies that are not dark. So that's going to be like a slash attack, which is pretty strong. That's at slow speed, so it just made slow slow speed heroes even better, and they have the benefit of firing early. Family bonus, 25 or 50% chance for two or three heroes to cast, plus 5% mono generation stack on a random ally when this hero casts their special skill. That could be either the first one or the second one, so that's a pretty cool thing to have. Um, but again, only if you have two heroes on the same team. So, um, first mana charge, minus attack, minus defense. I'm going to try to do these a little bit quicker with some poison damage. The poison damage can go up higher. The other two effects are pretty minor. It's nice that they're for three turns at very fast speed, but not anything crazy in my opinion. Uh, second charge, 50% attack plus 63% defense and like healing over 200 something per turn. So quite strong, um, very strong actually. That's very strong for a healer, um, but it's very diffuse heal of return, but 1200 HP is, a, is the biggest heal we've ever seen in the game. Um, so yeah, okay, strong healer that can do some poison damage and some other stuff at fast speed. I definitely see the utility, but do I love it? I don't love it. Um, on a fully charged special skill, hero has 50% chance to recover 30% health for all allies that are not of the fire element, so not for herself. First charge, target of nearby enemies receive 116 burn damage over two turns. Pretty weak, but that again will go up with emblems and uh, troops. We're seeing a more moderate build this time, not full defense, but definitely not full attack. However, the attack is quite good. If the caster dies during the next two turns, they're resurrected in the beginning of the next turn with 32% health. It clears everything that's on them, including stacks. Um, two times charge, again, slow speed. Fallen ally has 34% chance to get revived with 30% HP. Um, each fallen ally. So it's kind of, okay, kind of like Albi. Anyone who's dead has a chance to come back with 30%. Um, the chance is a little bit above Albi, I think. I think he's 30, and this is 34. All allies regenerate 609 HP over three turns, so a better heal than Albi. All allies reduce all received damage by 50% for three turns. So that's pretty damn good. The first one, not super interesting to me, but not weak. However, being that this hero is a cleric, ah, I'm not that interested. Too many goddamn cleric healers. Sorry to say it, but it's true. Okay, ridiculous Sailor Moon costume. Uh, Milena. Passive, 50% chance to give 20% mana to all allies that are not of the ice element. That's freaking good. We just saw with uh, Znalfod, is what I'm calling him, Squidward, Dr. Zoidberg, uh, that just came out, 20% is very good. This is at slow speed, but it's 25% to all non-ice, so kind of a weird thing. Not going to work if you're a mono player. Not going to be ideal if you're 3-2, but still decent. Um, first charge, 20% for all, cleanses status ailments, second, 
Second charge, 390 to all, and then dispels buffs after. So it's unfortunate the order of these things. Cleanse before is better, so you can get rid of health steal um, and maybe some other things. And then dispel is obviously better first, but 390 at, at it's slow speed, but that's crazy good. Um, 390 is, that's crazy damage. And as a wizard, chance to deal extra damage based on those buffs, which will get removed after, but she still might blow herself up in uh, a riposte situa situation. So pretty strong there. Motega, 50% chance to recover 30% health for all allies that are not holy. First charge, this guy seems interesting. Summons a butterfly minion for each ally with 8% HP, so quite low, 17% attack inherited from the caster. Each hit from a butterfly minion gives the target the following status ailment. All damage the target received is increased by 20% for two turns. That's really cool. I like that. It's going to be hard to keep these uh, minions alive, but you can bury them under others. So it's going to be tricky to time with the element that he is and with the uh, speed that he is on that first charge, but that's a cool ability. And we don't know where that 20% lies in the damage equation. If it's just at the end of the equation and just literally makes every number 20% higher, that is extremely good at uh, very fast speed. You don't even need a mono troop to make him very fast speed either. Uh, second charge, Butterfly Fiend for all enemies. Damages of 43% attack, familiar number. This, yeah, this guy seems really good. Uh, also a goddamn cleric. Butterfly Fiend absorbs healing and disappears when it has absorbed 30%. Fiend gives minus 50% accuracy as long as the owner has Butterfly Fiends, can't be cleansed. So a new Fiend hero, um, and that's a really good ailment. God damn. If you think that Elizabeth gives minus 24% mana generation, um, Hannah gives only minus 20% attack, 50% blind to all is, or to anyone that gets, um, yeah, to all, anyone that gets hit with one of these and you're absorbing healing, that is really good. And uh, I don't know if you saw a recent video from Empires and Puzzles books, but combining these fiend heroes with health stealing heroes can keep those fiends alive for a long time. So you can keep this blind on there and using this guy in bloody battle or not, yeah, bloody battle where there's no healing, just blinded from the start obviously you got to charge him up at slow speed but super powerful defensively built as he should be quite strong there um last one crystal ball this guy seems pretty cool 50 percent chance to give minus 20 percent attack for three turns to all enemies that are not nature so really good offensive skill uh, sorcerer i'm starting to get all these impacted classes make someone a paladin come on um Deals 235 to the target, 470 if the target has less than 50% health. That's at very fast speed. This guy is going to be an extremely good finisher uh, for how quick he is. That is the highest damage I think we've ever seen at very fast speed. And he can do more than that uh, if you charge him up. Two times charge, 200% damage to all enemies. Deals 400% damage if the target has more than 50% health remaining. So more than so if you want to get him up to the slow speed charge first to do your big damage first and then finish him off with the uh, fast hits after that so this guy seems quite good but is an unfortunate class for my roster and he's a he's built for attack and that is uh, pretty impressive so i'm not gonna look at the rest of them in my opinion there of course there's some good heroes in here and depending on what you have in your roster, some of these are going to be better for you than others. Do I think it's the most compelling portal? No. It's kind of yet to be seen what this new magic hero speed is going to be like and what that's going to mean in the greater context of the game. Um, they're definitely not bad, but you know, you can't pull for every hero that comes out and I see this one as a bit lower of a priority for me despite there being some good heroes in here so who knows some people are going to go crazy but I don't think this is like oh my god this is a must-have you need this hero with one exception and that is Sergi um passive 50% chance to deal 100% damage to all enemies that are not dark 
Okay, that's fine. The cool thing about that, though, is... Oh, did they change his class? I thought he was a sorcerer the last time I checked. Interesting, because that would have meant that he had the chance to um, put the sorcerer ailment on anyone with that 50% chance thing. But, very fast speed. All enemies get minus 54% defense against dark for three turns on all. So you're going to see this guy limit broken a lot. So this is my main target here. And then the two times charge is awesome. All allies get plus 100% normal attack for five turns. Stacks with similar effects up to 160. So he's got defense down and attack up in the same package, which is pretty fun. Uh, if you want to use him on Titans or something, it'll be a little awkward because you'll need to use three uh, super mana potions on him. One to get the first charge and two to cycle up to the second charge. Um, so a little bit awkward there, but a uh, standout hero. So, um, be back in one second. Not going to look at the rest of these just because this video is going to be too long as it is. Um, and these are the main, uh, targets in here anyway. So that's what I wanted to cover. So we'll be right back with some pulls. All right. So I thought we'd get in on the fun and do pulls in a different language. Uh, don't know what language this is. I don't know what language this is. I was going to guess, but I don't think I can guess. So, um, without further ado, let's see what we can get from this portal. <laughs> oh, yeah. That guy, I don't know who that is, but that seems like a really good hero. If anyone knows who that is, I can't read the name. Oh, she's new, too. <laughs> Oh yes. Yeah, the one I actually wanted. Sick. All right. Whatever language this is, thank you. You're the chosen ones. Wow, third pull. That's awesome. Okay. Come on, Sergi. All right, got one of the other four stars. I'll have to look at him after, since I don't know what he does. Three star, okay. Seeming like our pulls are going pretty well here. Let's go with an old 10 pull. Come on, Sergi. Okay. That's enough of her, thank you. Damn, looks like we blew all of our luck already. Just want the four star, man. Do another ten pull here. <laughs> wow. Alright, don't need Vivica, but damn. Someone tell me what language this is. Yes, last one. Well, that's pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to hold it there because that's what I really wanted. And miraculously, we got what I think is the best, um, for me at least, the best five-star hero in there. Um, so I'm going to switch back to my regular language and we'll, um, take a look at what that four star is and, uh, call it quits from there. So hopefully this gives you some idea on what to do with your videos and uh, what to do with your videos. Wow. What to do with your polls, your gems, if you're interested in this portal or not based on what you have and what you could use. Um, and yeah, I'm going to, uh, take a look at that four star for you guys. All right, let's take a look at Anton since we got him as well. 50% uh, chance to recover 30% health for all allies that are not nature. So maybe the, for my style, the two of a 3-2 team. Also a cleric. For some reason, there's 400 clerics in this. Um, first mana charge deals 185% damage to all enemies. Each hit has 50% accuracy 
All enemies receive 92 poison damage over two turns. I don't really like that. Um, second mana charge. Each fallen ally has a 34% chance to get revived with 30% HP. Okay, so a four-star reviver. The only problem with this is in rush attack, his speed will not change whatsoever. In fact, he'll be a tiny bit slower. Uh, normally, he's only going to need six tiles to get to that first charge, but in rush attack, he's going to need 6.5. So if you are in a situation where you can't use a mana troop, he's going to get worse. And so in rush attack, you don't get the benefit of this reviver because you're going to have to charge him twice still, so... Not that good. I don't know that I'm even going to level this guy. If you think I'm making a mistake, let me know. I suppose you could emblem and limit break and, you know, try to use them on a on a five-star team. And if you don't have revivers, maybe that's a cool option for people that um, don't have those kinds of heroes. Because 34% is, is pretty decent. Uh, the heal is on the weaker side, but it does add the first reviving hero to the four-star class as far as I know. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with this guy. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to use him yet, but he could make an interesting team with... Actually, no, I don't think that would work very well. The two, having to charge them twice is kind of a weird thing because heroes like Zoidberg, who give 20% um, mana, it's only 20% of the six tiles for the first charge, not 20% of the full 12 tiles. So he doesn't benefit from heroes like that so we'll see if i do anything with him but uh glad to have him and i'm sure his day will come at some point so hit that like button if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you think that was stupidly lucky and you're mad at me secretly um <laughs> i hope you guys have good luck with your polls make sure to subscribe and show your support for the channel join the community if you're not a subscriber come on that's kind of lame so you definitely want to be a subscriber right you know so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.